Good evening, everyone. Attention, residents. Today we are celebrating Halloween. Um, that's dope. Uh, yeah. Happy Halloween, everyone. Uh, I got a letter here. Oh, it's just from Red. That's the thing that we got yesterday, the amazing painting. Um, but yeah, as Isabel said, today is Halloween. Um, which means that I think starting at 6. I actually thought it started at 6.30 and I was going to try and do the little, little earlier stuff, but that's alright. Sorry, just messing with my inventory there. Um, yeah, so to prepare for Halloween, uh, make sure that you're not wearing anything that you care about or anything that you can't, I don't know, repurchase, because, uh, well, you'll see why in a, in a second. Uh, and I'd also, I think you should probably, I'm gonna drop off my tools here because um, I believe that stuff in your inventory is also um, free game, so, uh, let me do this real quick. I have some flowers that I can plant outside, but, uh, gotta put that back. Also, well, we'll show that off in a second. Um, and I'll, I'm actually gonna put the amazing painting right here so that I remember that I, I have it, and I remember to take it to the museum. Alright, um, so, the way- oops, I forgot to grab candy. Okay, so for real this time, how Halloween works is we want to find- well, there are- everybody that's in their house is actually going to be important too, and maybe we should deal with that first, but those that are outside of their house are also important. I did not go to the uh, island as I said I would, sorry. Um, uh, but here we go. So these people are outside, and once they notice you, if they catch up to you, trick or treat, give me some candy if you don't want to be messed with. Uh, you can either say yes or no. I'm gonna say no here. You're not gonna give it up? Well, fine, I guess you're collecting candy too, huh? In that case, let's play a game. If you win, I'll share some candy with you. But if I win, you're gonna get a Halloween trick. Wanna play? Uh, what to play? I know, rock, paper, scissors. Alright. Straight from the shot, scissors. Alright. Uh, paper. Damn it. Alright. So if they do that, boom. If you lose, they'll take whatever that you have on uh, and replace it with the uh, the patch stuff. Um, so, uh, if you're not looking to, to do that, then I wouldn't wor uh, mess with them. Here's Peck. Everybody's wearing these little pumpkin hats, too, which I think is, is cool. I want to win one of these games, though. <laughs> I'm not being a bully. It's tradition, but I suppose I should give you a sporting chance. All right. Uh, rock, paper, scissors. There are other games that you can play besides rock, paper, scissors. Rock. Ha. Everybody picks scissors, I guess. So frustrating. But I'm a man of my words. So take my candy. So if you're ever, like, running low on candy, you can do that. Um, it was all my idea, and I'm the one who lost. I'm such a doofus. Poor Peck, I didn't want to make him feel bad. Um, so yeah, that's what happens there. I think I'm actually wrong about things in your inventory, but I, I can't remember. Um, where this comes into play is that each villager has a fear, oops, wrong page, uh, that is determined by their species and their personality. And if I were a good... Uh, prepared YouTuber, I would have made a spreadsheet or something, like I know I've done in the past, that had all of my, uh, animals' fears on them, but I'm sure I can find a guide online. Um, there, I mean, that is, I, th I know those are the two determining factors, that uh, are, uh, species and personality type, I just don't remember exactly how the two go together, so give me one second while I, uh, make sure of this. Alright, so we are outside of Ken's house, and Ken happens to be afraid of monsters. So we're gonna put on the the nondescript monster mask. Definitely not Frankenstein there. Frankenstein's monster, whatever. But here we go. A monster! W wait, hold on. I'll give this to you, so could you just go away, please? He gives us some nice candy. There, now you have nothing to complain about, right? So, yeah, um... He will give you the lollipops, which are 
I guess, considered better than just whatever the random wrap uh, hard candy is. Oh, I have so much in my inventory, I need to drop off something. Plant flower, I don't know, here. Um, but yeah, uh, I would recommend taking off the, uh, the mask after you, uh, uh, scare the villagers. Oh, they're both after me. No, I didn't want to do this. Um, you can just give them candy, but no, I'm gonna, I'm gonna play. Yes. Alright, uh, what game? Charades, okay. I'm gonna make some gestures and try and give you some clues. Alright. You sing, and you shout while you do it, and people clap for you. You sing, and I don't know, while you do it, and people clap for you. What is it? Um, my options are knitting, reading, karaoke, or sneezing. Uh, I'm gonna guess karaoke. You got it. Congratulations. This is exactly what it is. Darn it. Okay, deal the deal. Oh, dang it. All right, well, whatever. Um, well, who you really want to be on the lookout for is Jack. Um, because Jack can give you, uh, some good rewards, uh, for, for what you're doing. And actually, um, it's probably not a bad idea to maybe use the, um, the letters here to store your, your masks. That way you have a little bit more inventory space. Uh, I'm gonna look around for Jack. I do see the fossil there, but I, I'm, uh, like, I can't even deal with it right now. It's too much going on in my brain. But I will find Jack, uh, and once I do, I'll let you know. Ah, okay, so this is Jack. Trick or treat. Yeah, I'm the czar of Halloween, Jack. Today's the long-awaited Halloween festival, pumpkin. Now my loyal subject, you have to work really hard for me today. Don't worry, it'll be easy. You need to wear some masks and then, oh, he's just explaining everything that I, that I said. He wants us to bring him candy. Um, yes, I understand. Um, no, candy and lollipops are, uh, are my most favorite kind of sweets. Uh, so yeah, basically, I do have something. I'll show you what happens when you give him a, uh, a lollipop first. Um, but basically, there are two kinds of rewards. Whoa, could this really be a lollipop? Happy Halloween! This is my most favorite of all sweets in the world. It is a true king of sweets, pumpkin. Can't wait any longer. I'm eating it this very second. It just doesn't even care, apparently. It almost feels as if my mouth is celebrating Halloween all by itself. Patrick, you've done well. Here's a special present for you, a creepy crystal. So Jack will give you parts of the creepy set for each, um, for each lollipop that you give him, and he'll also disappear each time you give him candy, so you have to track him down again. Um, so be prepared to walk over your, all over your town multiple times, but, uh, yeah, um, but I do want to find him one more. Is that him right there? Did I really get that lucky? Yes, I did. Okay. Um, yes, I did. If you were maybe a little bit like me and kind of slacking on uh, getting all of the uh, spooky furniture, if you just give him a regular candy, which has been for sale. Um, uh, oh, wow, you can get the masks, too. I did not remember that. Okay, well... Um, because I happened to get all the masks through, uh, other means, uh, I don't need a mask, but, um, I'm gonna say I want the furniture. <laughs> Creepy coffin. Oh, wow. Okay. I thought he would give you part of the spooky set. Um, so, I guess not, though. Um, but yeah, we just got two new furniture items. So, basically, I'm gonna be running back and forth, I think, a lot between people's houses and my house to drop off other stuff. I still have a bunch of flowers that I can plant. Um, but, um, yeah, so I, I'm not exactly sure what's what all is going to be cut and what's going to be staying in, but uh, we'll figure we'll figure some out. So, figure something out. I can talk today. Um, but yeah, uh, I'm going to, uh, I'll, I'll, sh I'll try and show off everybody's fears. Um, so I guess next will be Coco here. Coco happens to be afraid of mummies. I love when she stands right there. A mummy? Wah! Please, scary mummy, take a piece of candy and go away. 
You have your candy, so please stop frightening me. Alright, that's what that. I'm actually kind of curious. I don't remember exactly what happens if you just go to a villager's house without a mask on. Um, I know if you have the wrong mask, they'll be like, oh, Can't scare me, that's not, not what I'm afraid of. And I don't know if you get another shot at it, so I'm not gonna... Not gonna try it, but we'll stop by we'll stop by Ken's house here. Is this ah whatever? I can try and get another piece of candy. Why not? Um, Peck, you're zero and two against me. I hope you remember that. All right. I think charades is the only other game, but there might be a third one. Rock paper scissors. This is my least favorite one. Rock though. Damn it! You learned. All right. Trickity trickity trick. Oh. That's not too bad of a trick, actually, giving me your your pumpkin head. That's actually kind of a cool thing. Um, I guess that's also something. If if you lose against the villagers, then they might give you their pumpkin head. I, I, I knew there was a way to get the pumpkin heads, but that's kind of cool. All right, what's up, Ken? Happy Halloween, Patrick. Uh... Oh, so you can just play them regularly. I'm not giving you my candy. I have this candy ready, uh, just in case that thing comes by. Oh, okay. So the uh, yeah, the ones in indoors are uh, are just waiting for for you to come by and scare them. Uh, next up, I guess, will be Pearl. Pearl also happens to be afraid of monsters. Oh no, I can't believe it. it it's a monster. Uh, I can't believe it. A monster? No, stay back. Please take this and get out of here. Alright. Thanks, Pearl. I feel kind of bad that I got scared. Oh, this isn't your favorite type of candy? Well, tough twinkles. I can't stand your hat. Get out. <laughs> I don't know that I've ever seen that uh, that dialogue before. I like that. Alright. Um, I know that... Let's see here. It looks like both... Ch well, yeah, that's Cherry and Peck, so that would make sense. Because we were both out. Uh, I think Cookie may have been home, though. Uh, I don't know who this is, but I'm wearing a mask, so I don't really want to fuck with you right now. Hang on. Give me one second, purple pumpkin man. Oops. Uh, let me take this thing off. Just, just in case, worst thing happens. I mean, I could, I guess, just go to Jack and request a mask, but I think it might be random. Who is this? Oh, wait, this is Cherry. Whoops. Okay, well, no way, Cherry. Uh, what do you got for me this time? God damn it, I don't want to play rock, paper, scissors. Scissors. God damn it. Scissors. Gotcha. Give me the candy. Give me candy now. Alright. Look at us having fun. This is a great Halloween. Yeah, me and my, my lame ass not doing anything on Halloween this year. Just playing Animal Crossing. Uh, let me look up what Cookie's fear is. Cookie is afraid of bugs. I'd probably be afraid of a bug this big too. Ah, a bug! I'll give you a treat if you just go away. Easy peasy. Look, I already gave you a treat, so please stop scaring me. You got a cookie. There's something in this track, and maybe I'll try and boost the sound there or something and if you're listening with headphones it'll probably be way more apparent but um they they play like the knocking sound as part of this this song um this is a a special a unique song i guess that only plays on halloween um there are a couple of these that happen throughout the year but um yeah this is like considered one of the bigger holidays. I know that we've uh, we've done. Did we do festival? No, we didn't do festival, did we? I think I may have missed festival, but I. Th we oh crap! No, I don't think we did either of the big holidays that I could have done. But uh, festival, which is uh, Mardi Gras, and oh, whoever was over here is gone. Um, uh, Egg Day, which is Easter. Um, are are both big ones and, th and then there's just kind of like a big lull from like well depending on when Mardi, Mardi Gras Mardi Gras is but usually from like oh this is who was over here earlier oh it was Rocco trick or treat that means if you don't give me a treat I'll play a trick on you uh no 
I get the feeling you're gonna uh, going around gathering up treats too. All right, what do we got, Rocco? Uh, I would much rather play charades. It's so much, it's so much easier. All right. Damn it. All right. Play your trick on me. Why don't you give me your hat? Thank you. Maybe if you maybe if you don't have a headpiece on, they're more prone to give you their uh, their pumpkins. That's kind of cool. I kind of want to try and collect all their pumpkin heads, but who knows if that'll end up happening. Oh, this is not Jack. This is a fake Jack. It's Mo. You can give me candy, and I, or I can play a trick on you. Uh, no candy, Mo. Sorry. I am trying to find Jack because my inventory is getting full. Okay, charades time. Yeah, 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 I know how to play. If you cut them, they okay, it's onions. If you eat them, they make you happy. That It's the reverse for me, because I know how to cut onions without making you cry, but I don't like them. You have to cut them, like, face down, and then they won't release the shit that makes you cry. I cut onions. I, I learned that in a catering class in high school. It's the only time I've cooked with onions, because I don't like onions. <laughs> Alright, um... I'm very particular about vegetables, um, onions I just don't like at all, but a lot of them are like, I either like them cooked or I like them raw, and I don't like them the other way. Like carrots, carrots gotta be raw, cooked carrot is weird. Uh, broccoli, gotta be cooked, don't like raw broccoli. Um, I don't know, just stuff like that, but onions in general are just a big, a big no. Fuck. There you are, Jack. I ruined a flower looking for you. Here you go. Alright, uh, well, I've got... I guess I've gotten... four of the, uh, lollipops already. Which means I've scared four of the villagers. What are you giving me? Creepy floor. Alright. The creepy set is one that, um... I don't know. I, I'll probably switch up my room for, for Halloween and maybe a few days after. Who? Peck? Alright, what are you, one and two against me now? No. No candy for you. Yes. Play charades. Okay. Yeah, 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 yeah. I know how to play. See them when you sleep? And sometimes when you dream? What are they? Sheep? I don't know. Uh, encyclopedias, novels, textbooks, dreams? I guess it's dream- oh. Oh, yeah, okay. I guess it was like daydream. Ah, uh, yeah, that's why I was trying to go home, Peck. Oh, Kitty is out. Okay. You're one of the best in ginger at pranking, huh? Okay. Um, actually, no. You don't get candy. I was just spamming the button. Ugh, rock, paper, scissors. Alright. Rock. Gotcha. Gotcha! Yeah. Give me your candy. Thank you. I think I've scared, uh, half of the villagers in my town. Uh, I can't remember how many big candies I've gotten. Let me see here. Scared Cookie. Scared Pearl. Scared Coco. Scared Ken, scared Piper. So yeah, that's five. Uh, the animals that are out will rotate um, throughout the night, um, so it's not a bad idea to like play a little bit and then maybe go do your fucking trick or treating or whatever, and then come back and uh, and uh, see who's who's out. Because I do think this goes. I think it goes until midnight. I want to say the event does. Um, so they give you a pretty good leeway. Uh, which I appreciate since it's like, oh, we get it. You're probably going to be doing stuff Halloween night, but I'm not. <laughs> oh, it's Jack, though. That's what it has. That's uh, just who I wanted to see. Um, I kind of want to see. I do have one more lollipop that I can give him, but I want to give him a candy and just see. Because last time he gave us a creepy set, I'm pretty sure he normally gives spooky set stuff out. No, 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 no. The furniture, please. Yeah, spooky wardrobe. Okay, I think I have that already, unfortunately, but... Oh, well. Alright. Uh, yeah, I'm probably just gonna be doing this 
on repeat for a little bit, so uh, if anything interesting happens, I'll let you know, and if not, then I won't. <laughs> Alright, so for the time being, I think I've actually done most of what I can do. Uh, I've been playing for a little under an hour now. Uh, the villagers have not cycled yet, so I think I'm gonna come back in maybe like an hour or two and see if there's anything different. I have got the majority of the items. Um, I will tell you that I finished off the spooky set. I think that uh, the way the game does it actually, which I I assume it, d it does it this way, either it does it this way or I got very, very lucky. Um, I believe it um, looks, when you give Jack uh, a piece of candy, I believe it looks for spooky items that you don't have in your catalog. Um, and so when it does that, it, um, he, he will give you items that you don't have. So I did get the uh, missing spooky set items that we didn't have. Uh, there are just a few that I didn't get in the creepy set because I didn't have enough lollipops. Um, so I'm gonna come back in like an hour or two, like I said, and uh, and we'll see who's available then. Sorry I'm standing at the side of my house. I was worried that Peck would come over and um, and give us a little uh, spook. So I will see you all in uh, in a little bit. Well, guess which dumbass forgot to hit record as as you could probably fucking guess. Anyways, uh, I, I went around. Most of the other villagers that uh, were in their houses, I guess I could check one more time. Um, most of the villagers that were in their houses I already got. Coco is now out and about. Um... But I don't think that there will be anybody else. I think there were only two that I got that were missing. Oh, I forgot to mention this, by the way. The uh, the tree um, is big, and I think actually, yeah, we can now sit under it. Which why not? Let's let's sit under it because this is kind of an achievement that you get for your town. Um, we'll sit under it on this nice Halloween evening. Um, once you put a certain number of hours and I think also public works projects into your town. You can get a little bit of retrospective. Ginger, Mayor Patrick, uh, Residence, Pearl, Rocco, Mo, Ken, Coco, Cherry, Piper, Peck, Cookie, Kitty. That's that. Kitty is soon to be gone. History of Ginger. Yeah, so it's like, it, it's not, it's a little different. Oh, March 21st, April 1st, Peck moved into town. Grand opening of the garden shop. Wow. This is going to be kind of sad. Well, maybe it's a benefit that I didn't hit record. We're going to see, a, like, tons of gaps here. Kitty moved to town, like, a week later. Club LOL. Shampoodle, also on the same day. A couple days later, Super TNT. Museum second floor on the 19th 420 Piper moved to town. I feel like we almost need to keep Piper because of that The roofs on May 7th. Wow the roof the roost opened on May 7th, and I just recently got the ability to Wow, yeah, I did I didn't play like at all in July or August. Oops And I played pretty sparsely in September yeah, no people have visited Ginger because, guess what? Simulated. But, um... That's cool. I like that. Alright, well, we've got somebody at our, uh... At our beck and call here. At our peck and call! No. No peck. Alright. Charades. Let's see what we've got. If you eat it in summer, you'll be hot. If you eat it in winter, you'll be great. Okay. Um. My gut says hot chocolate. Oh. I guess hot chowder works. I don't know. My options are potato salad, gelatin, hot chowder, or gazpacho. And I don't know what gazpacho is, but I'm going to go with hot chowder. That's right. You're good at this. 
Alright, well, some candy. That's not really that big of a deal. But, yeah. Anyways. Um, I'm pretty sure that I got most of the spooky set and the, um... And the creepy set, I, I know I got all of the spooky set. I'm pretty sure I got most of the creepy set. Um, so you might notice things look a little different. Uh, the floor and the wallpaper are both a creepy set. Um, there's some other stuff in here. This is the creepy closet, which actually, although there is a skeleton inside this thing, uh, it actually <laughs> operates as a closet, which I think is kind of funny. Uh, creepy skeleton there. Uh, I don't know, just kind of a little witch's brew over here with with this. There's the 10 o'clock bell. Um, these heads you get from uh, losing losing mini games uh, while you don't have anything in your uh, head spot. So uh, I actually have, I think this is the third one of these. Uh, red pumpkin heads that I have here. Somehow, the portrait of Chop still stays up, but whatever. Anyways, uh, I think that is gonna do it for me on this Halloween evening. Uh, although I think I'm gonna go record another video with my friend here. Um, but, I genuinely thank you all very much from the bottom of my heart for watching. I always said that, um... I was gonna do my videos for me, and if other people ended up watching, then that was just a benefit. Um, so it's it's cool to me that these videos get any views, uh, regardless of some of my other videos like that have like over a hundred views. That's that's still really cool to me. Um, so I thank you all for watching. Uh, I hope you enjoy watching. And I hope that you stick around uh, for the next couple months while we'll be uh, exploring some other events that take place in Animal Crossing. Uh, thank you again, and I hope to see you then. Bye-bye.